morning, everyone. This is David Hoffman from David's Been Here, coming at you from Abu Dhabi, the capital of the UAE. Today, I'm super excited. I'm here with my friend Ruzena from the Minority Taste, and we're going to be eating Indian food for 24 hours. Oh we're going God, yes. to a lot of spots. <laughs> yeah, a lot of spots. We're going to like hit all the best spots in Abu Dhabi just for you, David. Awesome. <laughs> so I just took a bus. I just got here. It was a two-hour ride. It's yeah. 10 in the morning, and I'm starving. And this is the first spot, right? Yeah, it's called Sangeeta Restaurant. Anyone in Abu Dhabi would know that this is one of the best, best places for South Indian cuisine. South Indian here. South Indian. So we're going to have dosas, I'm sure. Dosas, idlis, waters, everything. It's calling me. Let's go inside. <laughs> so this reminds me of like a South Indian diner. Very similar to Saravan Bhavan. This is the direct competition for Saravan Oh, Bhavan. is it? Yeah. Is it? Awesome. And right behind you, we literally have the kitchen. Yes. Get the paper dosa. Yeah, yeah. The paper dosa. Uh, we get one idli set, water set. Do you want it with masala or with or without masala? Well, how do you want it? I want it with masala. So we're in paper dosa, idli, vada, and what else do you want? Uh, I wanted the kulcha, but apparently they don't have it at this time. Let's make, make it a rava dosa. Yeah. Pepper roast masala. Yes. Idli one plate, vada one plate. I'm hungry, but I know it's a long day of eating. We're yeah. starting with three doses, Illy and Vada. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we also need some chai or some... Uh... Try the filter coffee here. Wake you up. All right, guys. We are ready to eat. We have Illy, Vada, and we have two different doses. So this is the Rava Dosa. Yep. And then this is... The Giro. The Giro's Paper Dosa. Look at this. Yeah. Super crispy. Huge Dosa. So how do you do it? Basically, you just pull yeah, it apart, just, right? Just pull it apart. Just... Crack it apart and then start dipping in your sauces yeah. and chutneys. Exactly. So right here we have sambar. Yep. We have um, I don't know. That's... We have the coconut chutney with green okay. chilies, mm -hmm. and then we've got the tomato chutney with red chilies. Exactly. And then the white coconut chutney with mustard seed and onions and garlic. So these are both coconut? Yeah, they're all three coconut. Oh. Just hold it and start dipping in your chutneys or your sambar. Oh, okay, I'm gonna try the tomato one right now. I'm gonna go for the green one. Oily, key goodness. Crunchy. I know. Mm -hmm. And so full of flavor. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, nice bee. Clarified butter, right? Yeah. And how's the summer? It's probably awesome, right? Yeah. Mm. I'm so hungry. I'm just. I know. Mm. We're just eating because once you start, you can't like really stop. You can't stop. You can't stop. <laughs> oh, here we go. Mm hmm. And right here we have filtered coffee. So we're both very tired. It's super early, <laughs> and we're starting off with some filtered coffee. Yeah. Ching ching. Ching ching. Mmm. So good. We I, need that. We need it. We need yeah. it. This is the best coffee. So nice. And the way it works is like you have these two, right? So you're yeah. supposed to go like this. Ooh, and then mix it. Mix it. So basically, you're mixing. The sugar, yeah. you're mixing the milk, making it frothier, frothier, bubblier, right? And you said it's cooling it down. And it cools it down. And if you really want to drink cool, yeah. you drink it from here, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow, what a difference, right? I know. Huge it's difference. A different temperature. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, I love it. It's yeah. so nice. Mm -hmm. Say that? Yeah. Oh, and you put it, it on top? Yeah, just leave the cup in there. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> Alright, you know what? Let me try it. Some of the sambar, right? Okay, so basically sambar is a lentil and tomato stew. Yes, get the lentil version and the tomato version as well. So mm. it depends on from where you're having it. Mm. This, this is lentil. This is awesome. Yeah. It's a little thicker. It's thicker and creamy and a bit more heavier. This is the this is this is what gives it more body. This is amazing. <laughs> I'm having the whole thing. Mm. Super healthy. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna jump in this. Amazing corner chutney. So you have to start with this, this with is the lighter one. one. Okay. Lighter one. Then you go into the heavier one. The heavier ones, alright, perfect. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Very mild, sweet, you get the coconut taste. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I love about it? It's so enjoyable. Yeah. Mm. So light. You know, I haven't. I've never gone to an Indian restaurant and I had just this alone. Oh really? Not yet, because I usually have so much food, you know? Alright. But this is more than enough. Like, you know, it's this is the breakfast. Mm -hmm. This is the breakfast. This is a very, very simple, humble breakfast. 
but it has everything all the nutrients and nourishments you get the nourishment you get the ghee and the energy from this mm -hmm. then you get the vegetable protein from this then you get the coconut also has protein mm -hmm. so all the nutrients are here vitamins nutrients minerals energy everything everything so good. finish it off with the sugar with coffee, the sugar coffee. <laughs> No, well, this is my favorite tomato one. I know, the tomato one. And today is it's the best one. <laughs> Everyone loves that. Yeah, right? Yeah. You know, every, so every single place does it differently. And I've been to a place called Saravan Baba. It's like the biggest veg restaurant in the world. Yeah. And this is the competition. Just this, so you guys know. This but, is the competition and a lot of people, a lot of my friends from uh, like down south, like the South India, mm -hmm. they prefer this place over Saravan Baba. Oh, wow. We have a Saravan Baba in Abu Dhabi, but okay. a lot of people prefer this. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I've never seen this one ever in the States. So. Oh really? I don't even know if they have in the States, but I'm sure they have like, Saravan Bama has like a hundred mm. locations. This I'm sure has similar, right? No, I think it's only here. I'm not sure. We should check on it. Okay. Yeah. And that was the Rava dosa, right? Yeah. Not spongy, but it has these holes, right? Yes. Because it has rice and a little bit of semolina in it. So okay. semolina splits the better and it's more nourishing and healthier mm -hmm. and lighter. So if you're like very health conscious, um, this is the one. Yeah, this is the one. Okay. And the same thing for the chutneys? Yeah. They give the same chutneys because the same chutneys goes with everything. Everything, yeah. everything. And the chutneys are great, right? They put like a little bit of green chili, curry leaves, and they made it a little spicy. So this is a very softer version, not like a crispy version of it. So it's very softer and you can like really dip your... Yeah, it really soaks it up. It soaks it, soak all the curries up. Let's get in here. Well, it's a mix. So you have a crispy and doughy, right? I know. And so this one, wow, look at that chili in there. Oh, I lost the chili. There we go. There was a surprise in there as well. Mm-hmm. No, it's too spicy. Mm. Not too spicy? Not for me. Oh, okay. Okay. Now it's getting there. <laughs> now it's good. Mmm. So it good. It takes a while. It's a second, yeah. That's the thing about Indian spice. Usually it's like a late spice. No, they put really, really big oh. peppercorns in oh, there. Oh, wow. Can I yeah. <laughs> I'll take the peppercorn. Mmm. <laughs> a you nice know. bite. I know, like the green chili gives you that fresh citrus hit mm -hmm. and this is like a warm hit, mm -hmm. you know, and both together. The best way to start a day, right? Yep. Indian breakfast. Mm -hmm. Who doesn't love crepes? Yeah, know. this is the South Indian crepes. Mm -hmm. mm, that peppercorn. It, the heat builds up and it's like getting really spicy now. <laughs> It definitely is waking me up. You're gonna have the sambar? Yeah, I'm gonna mm. have some more. It's like a soup, so you can have it, it's nice. Oh, this is awesome. Mmm. So what is that? Is there mango in here or something? No, there's um, pumpkin in here, lentil in here, yeah. Drumstick. Mmm. Oh wow. Yeah, so good. Mm -hmm. This is one of my favorite sambars. I know, mine too. So I've had rava dosa many times and I've also, also had like the onion Yeah, rava, onion right? rava dosa. Yeah. Yeah. It's really this, good. This is good though, right? This is awesome. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh wow. So good. <laughs> Coconut. I mean, this is like straight South India right here. Mmm. I'm feeling spice right now. <laughs> <laughs> Your lips are red. I know, red. my lips are red. <laughs> and now we're gonna jump on the Italy. So what is this? Steamed rice cakes, right? Yeah. Very easy. Very easy. So you're supposed to break it like that, right? Just like that. You can eat it like that or you can eat it the other way too. Drown in one of these, right? Yeah. Really let it soak it up. That's the best thing about the Italy. It soaks up all the sambar, the chutneys. That's one way to eat it. Can I show you another way how to eat it? Oh, you're going to soak it in sambar? Yeah, yeah. We soak it like that. Mm -hmm. Right? And then we put all the chutneys on top. All the chutneys on top? All the chutneys on top. South India showed me that this is like the OG way. You just go in for it and then eat it like rice. So you break it. So you mix everything? Mix everything. And then it becomes like really soft and nice. With all the flavors mixed in. Okay. Mm. You gotta try it like that. But my turn, I'm just gonna do that, right? Yeah. Mix it all. Just like that. 
Wow, just go through all the chutneys right here. Just a little bit, right? Yeah. And you start breaking up? Yeah. So it soaks up everything. Mm -hmm. And then just mix it all in. Just like that. Yeah. So I've seen idlis like in a plate with samba. Yeah. Just like completely like drowning in samba, but I've never done like this. <laughs> this is different. Yeah. It like literally soaks everything up, right? Yeah, it soaks everything up and all the flavors together. Yeah. Let's try this thing. <laughs> mm. Good, right? Oh my god. I know. I used to like just soak it in the chutneys and my friend was like no, 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 no. You had to try it like this. Like this. <laughs> mm. So good. It's too good. Mm. I know. This is like falling apart. I know. You have every different aspect here. Tomatoes, mm. you have a little spice, a lot of coconut, and then obviously the sambar in there. Yep. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> we ain't too full. <laughs> Let me show you the last thing, right? So this is the vada. Yeah, the vada. So vada is a lentil donut. Urad dal. It's a type of split lentil. Okay. Yeah, so this is the same thing that goes into the idli as well. Okay. So it's the, it, you can make idli with same batter, you can make the water, this is the fried version, and even the dosa is made with pretty similar batter. With, with this lentil? Yeah. Okay, it's specific known. So same thing, right? So you can just break it up? Yeah. Half, right? Just yeah. take that. Beautiful. Yeah, I go for this one with this. Yeah. Just so good. It. But you know what? Maybe mix, right? Yeah, you can mix it. Mix everything here? Mm -hmm. This one's different. To be honest, I don't know what the difference is, but it tastes so good. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Mm. So fluffy, fluffy. And crispy on top. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So savory. Just perfect. And this is stop number one of five. <laughs> I feel good. You feel good now. Thankfully, you didn't order anymore. <laughs> I can see you coming back before yeah, yeah. it was like you were sleepy yeah, and yeah. tired. I was super tired. Obviously, I got around. It's about 5:30 to get yeah. here. You know? Thank you for coming to Abu Dhabi. No, I'm super excited. You know, people don't know about this, but huge Indian population here, right? Yeah. This is the capital of the UAE. This is the biggest, I guess, the like the emirate is 70% of the actual emirates. Yeah. That's how much land they have. Crazy, right? And also they have like all the best theme parks in the world here. You get the races happening here. Today's F1. Yeah, exactly. So who's winning? Is Hamilton winning today? Because they're tied right now. I know. I want Hamilton to win though. We'll see. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, hopefully. Oh. I'm done. I'm taking a break. Take a break, take a break. Next, we're gonna go North Indian. North Indian? Yes. For sure, Chole Bature, right? Chole Bature. No, not Chole Bature, not yet. <laughs> Just to get your palate cleanser plus a digestive. Light Indian Pepto Mall. Let me have some of this. Mm hmm. Mm. That's very refreshing. Feels great. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, let's go. I'm pulling your bag. I know. So I can't check into my place yet, so we're taking the bag around. But right here, literally <laughs> one minute drive, one minute walk, we have Indian Palace Restaurant. Wow, so it looks like an Indian house from yes, outside, right? This is, this is uh, so old. It was established in 1997, right? And it's still like they've like maintained its like building and structure. But one of the best places for North Indian. Beautiful, and you have the elephants outside. So we just entered India Palace, and as you can see, this is like a traditional Indian style, North Indian style, right? So Mughal yes. cuisine. More Mughal cuisine, and this place has been open since 1997. It's a very old establishment with awesome food. <laughs> so as soon as you walk in, they have this beautiful elephant. Look at this, gorgeous. Over here, the nice seating. So beautiful, intricate design. Love the seating. Hey guys, how you doing? Oh, the kebabs and the naan. Naan, tandoor, tandoor. He's live making bang bangles. bangles live bangles you can shoot. Towards. No way. Wow, so he's making live bangles right here. So they have like a mini market here, right? So they have some yeah. elephants, lots of bangles, jewelry. And this he's making right here? Yes. Sir. Right there? Yeah. Oh, wow. And so you have a coal. You yeah, have this okay. little like device here. And you're making this. Yeah. What? All right, let me see. This Even in India, I've never seen this done. I've been to India four times. Oh. First time I see this. Oh. Here in Abu Dhabi. <laughs> Amazing. I love this, by the way. I think I'm gonna take one of these for my daughters. Well, one for each, right? Beautiful. 
little mirror, right? Gorgeous, love the colors, man. So they have this, they have the elephants, they have these little beautiful books, a little notebook, but with this beautiful design. I'm gonna spend some money here, my friend. I have to. For my girls, I'll go broke, basically. <laughs> So these bangles are made with natural wax from the tree sap, yeah. right? And then you mix it with dyes, right? Beautiful. She so has many different colors, and this one is like a, like a red and gold, right? And then he just keeps shaping it, keeps heating it up, shaping it. You also put a ring into it, like a real bracelet, right? And then it's like perfect. So it takes literally 10 minutes and it's done. Let's do it. Hey man, how you doing? Good? I'm good, sir. How awesome. What's up, guys? We are going in the back into the kitchen. Let's see how to make some food. Yeah, Let's do it. Assalamu alaikum. All right, let's do this. Look at the amount of onions in here. It's like an onion gravy. Gravy. Yeah. Oh my gosh, and tomatoes. Yeah. Wow, and then over here he's making a few different curries. This is probably butter chicken, butter. right? Or chicken tikka masala. Uh, chicken tikka masala. Chicken tikka masala right here. Hello, hello. Hello. How are you guys doing? Okay, so here we're making some naan. Is this plain naan? Yeah. Oh, yes. Or chokran, chokran. So this is rumani roti, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what they do is they flip over the wok and they put it on top and then it becomes almost like a lavash, like a super paper thin bread. Oh! So if you've never seen the rumani roti before, look at this. So it's just puffing up, right? Super thin, it's beautiful. It's almost like a pita wrap, right? Yeah, but this is the best thing to, you know, grab the gravy. Oh, so good. The chicken, this is the best. My friend right here is from Mumbai, Marathi, and you? Mumbai, Mumbai. Yeah. Mumbai, same, same. 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 Okay. Yeah, Uttarakhand. Gorgapa, Manipuri. <laughs> this is awesome. So he's making the garlic breads, right? So this is the tandoor, clay oven, super hot, 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Literally, you put your arm over it. Woo! Burn. Mira, look, burn, burn. Everything burn. Whoa! <laughs> And right here we have the lamb seek kebab. Lamb seek kebabs are delicious. So they go on the skewer. He just keeps molding it perfectly so it's minced lamb. Then after he finishes, he throws it into the tender oven and it's in there for what, five minutes? Five minutes? Ten minutes, ten minutes. So ten minutes to cook, amazing. Yeah, 500 degrees, it's gonna cook really, really fast. Oh, I am excited for this one. This is gonna be amazing. So here we have four different things. We're trying to keep it light, guys, but especially yeah. with North Cuisine, it really fills your belly really quick with all the gravies. So we have two different like curries. Yes. Then we have the lamb seek kebabs, which yes. look absolutely phenomenal with nice spices in it. We have the uh, rumali roti. The rumali roti, it's cut into pieces, and this is like one huge roti. Exactly. But, yeah. Nice and like layers, flaky, you can see, look at that, just like opens up. And you got a uh, watermelon, I guess. Yeah, sorry, I'm thirsty. <laughs> no, no problem. And then we also got some chai on the side. Yeah. And I think what we should do is maybe start with the papadam. Yep. Some nice, crispy. The starter. Mm-hmm. And then it comes with some sides, right? Yes. So these are like, like spicy chutneys, right? Yes. Acha means good. Achar means pickup. Achar. Yes. Achar. Okay, okay. I I'm trying to learn my Hindi here. <laughs> it's not easy. You're good. You're good though. I'm trying to get there. <laughs> Oh, the tamarind is the best, I feel. Yeah. It always is. It's nice and sweet. Mm hmm. Mm. So, what it does is it opens up your palate mm -hmm. and then makes you ready for the heavy stuff. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. No, the pickle. Yeah, it's mm. nice. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. <laughs> so good. So this is the damka saffron. It is chicken cooked in almond paste. So they make the almond, they put the spices and a lot of saffron. It's beautiful, beautiful. Oh my God, the aroma is amazing. Then the palak paneer. Everyone knows what this is, but it's beautifully rich. Look at that. Beautiful. You can call it sheik kebab, sheik kebab. But Are you cutting it? I'm cutting it because I want to show you the inside. It's beautiful, beautiful with so much of spices and it's so aromatic. Grab one of these. Flaky, flaky ravioli roti. It's amazing. I love this. So it's yeah. almost like I said, like like a lavash, very thin yes. paper, right? Yeah. And then right here we have the side paneer. So side paneer, sorry, palak paneer. Yeah. So the difference between sag paneer and palak paneer is palak is straight spinach, mm -hmm. sag or sage, whatever. Yeah. I don't know how people say it. You know, <laughs> it's a mix. Uh, so that is mustard leaves, right? Yeah, that's mustard leaves, and also they can put in they put in coriander in it. Some some recipes. Yeah, yeah. It's different recipes, but when it comes to palak paneer, it's just 
pure spinach. I actually like this one more. Me too. Uh, Same. It's a, it's different. Yeah. Different flavor. So first thing you do, grab this and then go in. All right. So here we go. Oh wow! Look at that. You have to cook it in such a way, otherwise it'll be like brown really fast. Yeah. So you can see how perfectly they've cooked this because it's green, green, green. Mm. <laughs> I'm ready. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> so nice. It's like spinach dip, right? Mm. Subtle hints of spices, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they made the spinach the king there. It's beautiful. Yeah. It kind of like overpowers it, but I love it, right? And then you get the nice crumbly paneer, cottage cheese. Mm -hmm. mm. And it's good so for good. you. I'm so happy right now. Yeah. There's nothing like a North Indian meal. Exactly. Like this creamy, loving the gravy with the smooth. bread. Smooth. It's smooth. very smooth. Yeah. And it's filling. Very filling. That's what it Fatty, is. Fatty, rich. It's made for the kings, you exactly, know? Exactly, yeah, exactly. It's made for the kings. Here we go. Mmm. I would just go with this. Oh, yeah. Mmm. <laughs> I'm it going for more. So good. Oh, you're going for more? Yeah. You have to, right? Mm. I think I'm going to try this next. So, for the kebab, you can have it obviously straight just like this. Yeah. Or you can put it with the, with the, you the roti. You can put it into the roti, but just try it on its own first. It's mm. Mm. Can you get the aroma of the spices? Mm hmm. Nice, not too spicy. It's coming though. It's coming. <laughs> it's always coming. <laughs> <laughs> wow, mm. I love this. There's nothing like a sea kebab. First time mm. I tried this was in Bademia. Oh. Bademia in Mumbai. Okay. It's crazy I remember the name of that restaurant. Because <laughs> they open late. Oh, right. They open like 3 in the morning. Oh, okay. Mm hmm. So for this one, just go in like this, right? Yeah. So just grab chunky chicken and then just soak up as much gravy as you can. Yeah. I mean, I smell it. Nice. Saffron. Mm hmm. Here we go. Mmm. Mm. So good, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. So different. It is. Mm. It's very different. So, almond gravy is amazing. Mm. Yeah, and if you want, you don't even have to get the chicken. Just go in. Yeah. Grab all that I gravy. I just like the gravy. Yeah, the gravy, the gravy. <laughs> can you do this good. one as well, like just with paneer or just. You, you can know. do this. You can do the same curry with paneer. You yeah. can do the same curry with chicken. You can do the same curry with fish, like a like a firm fish. Okay. Yeah, but you have to get that gravy right. You know? yeah, yeah. The almond paste and the spices, cumin, cardamom, cinnamon. Uh, not much of cinnamon, but cumin and cardamom. Yeah. And plus. Uh, the saffron. The saffron. Yeah. yeah. The saffron is what makes this. Yes. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. Mr. Gravy. <laughs> yeah, I won't stop. If I wasn't in a fancy restaurant, I would lick the plate. Mm. <laughs> I'm already gonna keep my fingers. I know, I know, you have to. Mm. 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 So creamy. That is absolutely delicious. And you know what? I need a little bit more kebab. To get all the gravy, you should get the kebab and just dip it in that. Oh wow! Mm. Mm. You never know; the kings must have been eating it like that too. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> we're just like diving yeah, in here. Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, I feel like I'm a real king. I just need <laughs> a palace to lay down in. <laughs> Maybe that's why the Mughal kings had those, like you know, like big flowy outfits <laughs> because they want to eat. A, yeah, they eat a lot of the creamy, creamy <laughs> exactly. dishes. It's so rich. It's so rich. Oh, I mean, but it's so good. I know you can't stop. This is the thing about Indian food, you know. So people talk to me like, "How can you eat every day?" I'm like, "Man, I can eat it every day." I know because every day. it's so flavorful and different regions. Even the Indian chefs, so many chefs, like even like really high-end chefs that I've met, they've said Indian food is so complex because the country is vast, different backgrounds, so it's always so diverse. Mm -hmm. You know. Every 50 kilometers, mm, everything in India. Exactly. 50 kilometers, imagine. So like in within a state, things change like crazy. I know. Mm. And it is one of the most famous Asian cuisines in the world. Mm -hmm. so. You know it's still, like, it's still like up and coming in America though. Oh really? In America it hasn't like, it's not like Chinese food, it's been like 
everybody has tried it in okay. well Americanized Chinese food. Okay, okay. Not the same thing, right? Okay. But but this, you know, is different. All right. Yeah. We're just going in for the gravy. I know. <laughs> we are supposed to we are supposed to be we're like we're full, but we're still going in. <laughs> still going in. Can't stop. You know what? To you know end this meal, let's have some chai, right? Yeah. That's good. <laughs> Alright guys, so we have our masala chai, we're gonna you know cleanse our palate and then we're going for biryani. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted to do it. So. I mean I'm good, I'm good. You know, you just walk a little bit, exactly. walk it off. It's just that we didn't expect this to be so rich, right? Besides being so rich, it's so good, so you don't mm, want to stop. Exactly. That's the biggest issue for me. <laughs> Every time I eat 24 hours in here. <laughs> and David's like, okay, let's take a little bit. And he's like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like off camera, like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. As you can see, it's like huge blocks, right? Massive blocks, beautiful buildings everywhere. We have some, most of them are like squares, right? Usually between like 15 to 30 stories in this area. So what is this district called? Or it's in the center, right? Yeah, it's the center. So this is called Salama Street. Salama Street. Yeah, Salama Street. So it's all just streets and all connected. Abu Dhabi is on a grid, so it's very easy to move, get around. So this is one of those real, authentic little joints in Abu Dhabi. The best biryani in town. Best. And it's called Retouch. Hey guys, how you doing? Salam alaikum. Salam. How are you? Very good. You guys good? Everything good? Yeah. All right. All right. Oh, look at the biryani right there. Oh, it looks good. What is that mutton? Oh yes, the real thing. The real thing. Everyone who knows this place come from around the world just to have this biryani here. No way. Yeah. Yes way. I mean, the aroma in here, incredible. So everybody's having biryani. That's the only thing they have here, right? Yeah, yeah. Biryani. Exactly. So Ritaj. All right, so this is like a small joint, right? And they yeah. have like four or five biryanis? They have about like five to six types of biryani. Okay. But what you have to come here for is the chicken 65 biryani. Chicken 65 biryani. <laughs> in my life have I tried that. No way. No one does it. No one does it. No one does it. No but does they it. are the OG people who have done it. You do get a few other places in UAE, but they're the first people to start it. and it's fantastic sounds like another perfect item for my menu <laughs> it's like this sounds amazing you should try this out and see i can't wait all right my man so before you get your biryani they always give you a little fresh salad right yeah they give it just to like you know get your palate cleansed get your body and throat ready <laughs> exactly and we have chili so are we gonna do it you and me this girl can eat chili <laughs> cheers cheers <laughs> This is hot. Mm -hmm. This is hot. Mm. Mm. Yeah, you gotta cool it down with like a cucumber, right? Really, it's the onion that'll help it, right? It's a sweet onion. So sweet. Spicy chili. It is. Mm. It's hot. No problem. All right, so we are ready to go. Chicken 65. We have some raita, and this one I forgot the name of it. It's a chicken gravy. Can we ask the name? Yeah. So what is this one, my friend? Excuse me. Salam, right? Because it's Hyderabadi, right? Oh. Yeah, because Hyderabadi. Yeah, yeah. So they're Hyderabadi, right? Yeah. I've never had chicken 65 biryani in my life. So we have chicken 65 on top and on bottom, right? Yep. Okay. And this is the place to have it. Mm -hmm. Everyone knows it here yes. in Abu Dhabi. And we already washed our hands, right? So we're yes. going to dive in traditional style. <laughs> yes. I'm ready. The king of dishes. Okay. So let me serve you. <gasps> this is a tiny space in Electra Street, Abu Dhabi. And now they're so popular for this, they've opened another branch here. No way. Yeah. I know. And then for this, so. We put this on top and down on top and we put it on the side, whichever one you want, right? Oh my god, you know, I just want to try this, the chicken. Yeah. So we have spoons, but we don't need them. Spoon side, and then we're going to do that, right? Yeah. I'll just put it on the side so that I don't want to disturb the flavor here. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Just eat the, try the chicken first. The chicken is alone first. Yeah. Nice, super red, huh? Nice marination. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. Mm. Oh, wow. A little spicy. Nice though. So much flavor in there. I know, it's nice. Mm. 
So for this, you just gotta mix it really well. Break up the chicken just like that. So many things for your restaurant. I know, I know. I'm so happy. <laughs> I mean, Dubai and Abu Dhabi are the place I'm eating like, for learn. free when I come to Miami. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> In your restaurant. Your whole life. In your restaurant. Let's oh, do awesome. this. Yeah, it's not like crazy aroma, <laughs> but it's very nice with the marination, mm -hmm. right? Mm, there is a chili in here, right? Yeah. Just so not too spicy. Not too spicy, but it's really delicious and it's different. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> <You're hot>. Okay. <laughs> it's not, not too spicy. I know, I know. It's not too spicy. But obviously, too much spice. Mmm. Mmm. Love the raita. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna mention that other one, salmon. Salmon. That's that's basically in uh, Hyderabad. Oh, I mainly. see. Get a nice ball. Perfect. Mm. 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 So good. I had so many good biryanis in this country. Crazy. You know, that's one thing people don't know. Because a lot of people are like writing me, like David, yeah. you need so much Indian food there. I'm like, yeah, it's a huge Indian population exactly. here. Exactly. It's like made up of Indians, you know? Wow, look at that. The ball you're making perfect, huh? I know. Isn't this so different? So different. It's very different, right? Very Something different, very unique. Mm. 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 So good. I'm loving it. I know. Mm -hmm. So you like my eating skills? Mm. I know. The thing about this biryani is that the marination of chicken 65, when you start breaking it up, it gets throughout all the rice. Yeah. So it like literally changes every grain of rice here. Yeah. And it's a red biryani once you mix it. Exactly, right? that's what I'm saying. It's like, it literally is a red biryani. Beautiful. Mm. More? Yes, please. I know. I need more too. And with this, I love this. Mm -hmm. It's a little chicken curry. It's like a chicken gravy mainly. Yeah, it, it is a gravy, but then it looks more than more than a gravy, right? Yeah. It's rich. Full of texture and flavor and Nan ki roti Hyderabadi. Nan ki roti and that? marak marak gosh ka marak. Marak? Yeah. So surprise, surprise, they sent us two dishes that they yeah. really want to try. So gosh kamarak, it's like a lamb stew or like a white yeah. curry, right? Yeah. Really nice, it looks beautiful. Woo, it's all coming out. <laughs> and you have this beautiful bread. So what's this bread called? Nam ki roti. Nam ki roti. Fluffy bread. Yeah. Almost like Soft. a panini. Mm -hmm. This is the first time I'm having it as well. I guess you gotta mm -hmm. break it into two. Again, it actually has four little slits there. Yeah, exactly. So you could just break up four pieces, right? Yep. So we're gonna get a piece. It's very fluffy, so it's yeah. gonna like really absorb that white curry. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Let it absorb and then break off. A little bit of that this. lamb. Yeah. So soft. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Look at this. So it's like so oh yeah, look at that. Hyderabadi food, amazing. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Peppery? It's super peppery. Mmm, nice and light. Mm. Yeah. The lamb. And there's so much flavors going on, although it looks bland, right? Mm-hmm. It looks bland, but yeah. to be honest, this is what I would do. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the curry is really, really good. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Super nice. And right here, this lamb, it's the ribs, right? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I love lamb. And it goes well with the white curry. I've never had lamb in a white curry before. Me either. Yeah. First time. I've actually, I think this is my first time having a white curry. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. I've never really seen a white curry before. Okay, I've had quite a few white curries in Thailand. In Thailand, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm. Right, I'm done for half an hour. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. We are not leaving the chicken 65. <laughs> All right, let's go. Thank you guys. Hey, hey.
My friend, my friend, thank you. Shukriya, shukriya. Thank you so much. No, thank no, you. No, Appreciate no, it. A few more spots? Yeah. <laughs> oh, we need a little, a little moment of peace. Oh. You know, it's amazing. This biryani was one of my favorite biryanis of all time. Chicken 65 biryani. And it only cost 22, so roughly around 6 US dollars, actually a little under it. Yeah. That big plate. Yes. And they comped us, they literally just brought us those two other dishes. Very nice of them. Exactly. Woo! <laughs> but now I need a walk. <laughs> I know. So you said 25 minute walk to this 25 place, right? 25 minute walk, we're gonna do it because we're, we're full. <laughs> yeah, I just wanna walk. The more you walk, the more you digest. Yeah. At least the next thing is just crab, so crab's easy. Exactly. You know? It's not rice that just like fills up in your tummy. <laughs> I love the way they planned Abu Dhabi. As you can see, this is a huge avenue, massive city blocks, mid rises, high rises, you know, 15 to 50 story buildings, just beautiful. Very square though, right? And the bottom, all commercial, right? So here we have bread, we have what else? Like little convenience stores, lots of food, lots of tea as well. And is it? Yep, it's the authentic place for Madur Madurai cuisine, Madras cuisine, and they have really nice crab. Fine, how are you? Very good. We're gonna have some crab? No, we will have, huh? We are, our cook is on the way. This is Laban. You have to have Laban when you're in UAE, especially when you're drinking or eat, eating all this spicy food. It's good for your stomach. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you guys, Rosena is the best. She's awesome, so funny. We've been laughing all day. <laughs> we literally been laughing all day. You're just crazy. I'm a little crazy, but I like it. Mmm, mmm, it's good. Yeah. Obviously a little sour, but it is it's nice. But it's like a milk. It's like a milk fat on top of the curd, mm -hmm. like the yogurt. So they take that and it helps you digest, and it's really good for you, especially when it's hot. Hey guys, how you doing? Everything good? Fine, sir. Awesome, awesome. So we're in the kitchen. We're gonna see them boil the crab and make the crab curry. Let's do this. All right, so now we're gonna boil the crab. I mean, the aroma here. Oh man, what incredible curry. So it's like a crab roast, but with semi-gravy. Uh, it's really, really like rich with flavors and uh, Really yum. I mean, I'm personally a huge fan of the room. I oh, love okay. the room. It's so good. I know, but it's, I think it would be better with just a little bit of gravy, just to dunk in the crab. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So it's a semi-roast, right? Semi-roast. Semi-roast, <laughs> awesome. Crab crab. So these are blue crab? These are blue crabs, so it's very rare to get it all the time. Mm -hmm. So that's why you, when you come here, you have to call them and say if the crab is available or not. Okay, so call ahead of time. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> And that's it guys, this is the crab semi-roast, it looks amazing, I look know. at this, the gravy, the coriander. It's so thick and saturated. Oh my gosh, <laughs> amazing. And he's, all, he's gonna also make something else for us, right? Yeah, he's gonna make us a special chicken fried rice, also Madurai style. Okay. Right? And which you get only in this place. This fried rice is amazing, look at this, he threw egg in there, cabbage, chicken, rice, salt. Black pepper, uh, uh, chili powder, chili powder yeah. and soy sauce, exactly. right? So it has a little bit of an Indo-Chinese twist, it right? Is, it is. Awesome, look at that, wow. It's gonna be <laughs> great. And a little spicy, right? A little spicy. Just a little bit. A little bit. You know what, throw all the chilies in there. <laughs> <laughs> Smells amazing. The aroma. Chef, thank you so much. Okay. Thank you, thank you, appreciate it. Oh, it's gonna be epic. Come on! <laughs> So I'm gonna give you a little bit of the Madurai Indo-Chinese influence fried rice. Oh, it smells really good. All in that gravy sauce. See? Okay. So the way you gotta eat this rice, it's just like this, right? Woo, it's so hot. It's hot. Mmm. Good, right? Look at like Indo-Chinese. A lot of people try to do this Indo-Chinese rice all around Abu Dhabi, but they've got that spice level and the street style taste perfect <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. yeah what I think is awesome about this is the pepper I know right and the chili heat yeah chili heat nice black pepper mm-hmm mm -hmm. so that whoa let me get into this crab oh my gosh the gravy oh yeah mm-hmm mm. oh you're gonna like get in there it's so good mm-hmm and for this one, you can actually eat pieces of the shell here. Yeah, because it's a soft shell crab. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like... Oh, 
So the flesh is really sweet and the gravy is like saturated with spice. So the combination between the two, it's really playing inside your mouth. Oh my gosh. You can mix that, that nice gravy mm -hmm. with the rice, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. The fried rice and crab curry makes an awesome combination. It's so good. <laughs> so the base is the same, right? But the difference is in the heat level. And sometimes you would like, we use a lot of curry leaves. Mm -hmm. They didn't use a lot of curry leaves. So there's the more coriander leaves, Got it. right? So that plays a huge difference between the tastes. So I'm gonna get one of these claws. Look at that, all right? Just open it up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Get in here. See? Yeah. Let's pull all this out. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's like a messy in here. That's the way you should eat crab. You should get messy. Mm hmm. Oh, I mean, the gravy. See? Sweet flesh. My friend here, the manager, he's like, hey, you need to calm down that heat. You gotta have some gulab jamun. I mean, you told me, you were like, David, you need some coffee or something. <laughs> gulab jamun would do. Mmm. <laughs> What's well, different? Yeah, the Madurai version. The Madurai version, yeah, huh? Tamil Nadu version. Uh, like extra spices into it, more cumin, and like you know, because the the North Indian version is less with cardamom. This is more cumin, you know. So they the slight changes, but it makes a big difference. Milk powder and ghee. Awesome. Milk powder and ghee, <laughs> basically just straight sugar, and then and sugar fried. syrup and fried. fried and soaked in sugar syrup. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> mm hmm. Mm. Oh my god! <laughs> I can afford it. My waistline's good. <laughs> my man, my man. No, thank no, no, you, no, no. thank you. We appreciate it. No, oh, you're the man. No, you're the man. No, I, I appreciate I'm, it so much. I've started watching your videos, and it's fabulous. You're doing fabulous work. Thank you, thank you. If you work hard, you do good things. Be yeah. kind to others. This is what happens. Hey, I ate the rest of that crab off camera. My God, it's so good. Thank Delicious. You, thank you. Oh, my stomach, all the pepper. Thank you. <laughs> All right, we're gonna eat some you, Malabar you. cuisine now. Sure, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I'll see you next time, next time. All right, guys, so it's winter. It's already five, the sun is setting. I know. This is a beautiful city, by the way. Super clean. Super clean. Very modern. And very, very easy. Yeah. And no traffic, super chill. Exactly, this is more of a family city. Yes. So if you come to the UAE and you're single, Dubai, if you're here, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. Family first but if, in Abu yeah, Dhabi. Family first in Abu Dhabi, and we are trying to get a taxi right now because let's go to like a market, yeah. right? And then yeah. in the market is the Caroline restaurant. And where are we going? Looking for a taxi. Yeah, yeah, okay, there it is. Hey, taxi. So the restaurant's inside this market. Yeah, but it's with the vegetable market. So it's like hustle bustle and the little restaurant. <laughs> That's amazing. So it's just like a five minute drive, you know, yeah. a little less. And this is it. So really, I mean, vegetable market, it big. Is the market. This is gonna be awesome. I know. Capping it off with a Kerala meal yeah. in a market. <laughs> Random, but awesome. <laughs> <laughs> no, look at the vegetable, it's a fresh vegetable. So guys, hello, hello, namaste. Wow. Hey, how you doing? Everything good? Hello, hello. Kerala, Kerala. Okay, so there are so many tea spots, which is something that you don't get in Sharjah and Dubai. There's a lot of little, little tea spots, and this is one of those kind of spots. So they get like everything from shakes to burgers and fries. Like, But the thing is, you have to come here and they have like a special night menu. That's the one that you have to get. We have a bunch of different things here. We have like a banana fry over there. We have samosas. We have fruits, lots of snacks. I mean, this literally looks like a Kerala's like mini hole in the wall right usually in Kerala they have small joints like this they call them like joints right and over here this is like almost like a French toast so it's eggs with bread samosa banana fry okay so kitchen kitchen yeah. all right let's go in they have special night menu so they serve it in the only in the night oh yeah, yeah. fry beef curry so they have started so it's all hot and fresh that's the beef curry. Dinner menu, right? Yeah. So we have the beef fry, there was a beef curry, and over there the lamb, lamb curry. and this? Fish, fish, fish curry. Fish curry. Oh, yeah. Look at that fish. Wow. So this is almost like we were talking about the other day. It's like yeah. That style, right? Like almost like a kingfish, right? It's kingfish guy. Kingfish. Okay. Awesome. And over here? Chicken curry. Chicken curry. Chicken curry. Wow. Chicken curry. Wow. Chicken curry. Spicy. 
Oh my gosh, the gravy right there. Amazing. Can we try all this? Yeah, we can try. This is what we're trying? Yeah. Okay. I love it. And here in the back, they have the seafood rice. So they have like squid, right? And yeah. they have blue crab. And these are like massive prawns. Exactly. Like literally my whole hand right here. All right, right now he's making the parota. I love this. This is my favorite thing in Kerala. So this is uh, all-purpose flour. He throws it down. He rolls it out. Throws it on the grill. He heats it up a little bit. It's gonna be ready. And then after that, you're gonna like mash it together and make it very flaky. Lots of layers. Yeah, this, this is, is the best. After that, you when we use, then you're filling the flaky. And that's how it's done. Now let's go inside and let's eat some food. Thanks, guys. Thank you, shukriya, shukriya. Lime juice, we need it. Yes, yes. <laughs> you wanna have Kerala cuisine, you wanna have juices, milkshakes, anything. I need to have some of this, I'm dying. I know. So good! <laughs> oh my gosh, I need this. Yeah, mm, so Amazing, good, right? yeah. I'm so excited. I know I'm really full, but the beef, this is crazy. The beef fry, I'm just gonna grab one piece. This is absolutely delicious. It smells so mm -hmm. good. So this is a roast. Yeah. Curry leaves. Mm, coconut oil. Mm. Mm. Spices. But spices. Pepper. Exactly. And we also have the chai, which is called karak here. Karak. Right? Karak. Cheers. karak. Cheers. Mm. Oh, so good. <laughs> the cardamom, right? Yeah. Cardamom. And so this one, we just go like this, right? Nice and flaky. Yeah. Just open it up. Woo! I'm gonna eat all that beef fry. The whole thing. We're gonna get in, you know, Goa, Kerala. Beef is not taboo. That yeah. is part of the culture there. Mainly in Kerala. Yeah, Parts yeah. of Kerala. The, last night I went to Go Food and they had some beef stuff. Yeah, you know? yeah. And then over here we have what? Beef curry? The beef curry. Okay. Oh, I have another one. <laughs> I'm gonna go in for the curry. For the curry? Mm hmm. So good. Had an amazing day. We're ending it with some amazing food. Yeah. Just delicious. All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. I love this bread. Mm-hmm. It's so different from the parata. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because they make it flaky. You know, parata, it's on the grill. Yeah. This one's same, but they do that fluffiness it's more to it. fluffy. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna try some of this. Ooh, still super hot. The beef curry. Yeah. Mm, nice fatty. Ooh. So good, right? This is way better than this. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that gravy. Mm. I'm not gonna stop. <laughs> Crazy, huh? Crazy yum. good. It's so yum. <laughs> See what I love about the beef fry is the curry leaves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that has like coconut chunks in it, like you know, coriander mm -hmm. leaves, and it's more saturated. Mm -hmm. But this is like slow cooked goodness, you exactly. know. It's very similar, but this is yeah. really good. Slow cooked, super tender. Mm -hmm. I mean, literally like butter. <laughs> wow. And you know, when I was in Kerala, my favorite beef fry was in Kochi. Oh, okay. So good. Mm. So aromatic and so uh, smooth. I mean, I'll say the best Indian food outside of India right now for me is in the UAE. Oh, it is here. That is for sure. Wow. <laughs> I've heard that the UK is amazing. Obviously, hundreds of years of influence. Mm -hmm. But this is like this is legit, right? Legit. It exactly. feels like you're literally, literally in India, right? Yep. And I love that this aspect, the beef aspect, you can't find it anywhere else in India, so it's very unique. Wow, my friends, we did it. Abu Dhabi, 24 <laughs> hours eating Indian food. <laughs> no one's done it like this before. I mean, we yeah. really went to the best, right? Exactly. Best of the best? We went to the best of the best. I kept the best spots for you, David. Like, so we did everything from North Indian, South Indian, Madurai, Kerala, Mughal food. Yeah, I mean, we did a big mix, right? Exactly. That's the best part about, especially here in Abu Dhabi, Dubai, you have all these communities, so you have restaurants, like, are literally Kerala food. Yes. You know, total authentic. Food. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Total authentic, 
very unique, you know, very, very different, right? <laughs> Thank you so much for coming to Abu Dhabi, David. No, no like, problem. And for showcasing what Abu Dhabi has, especially in Indian cuisine. This place is one of the best. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> so guys, if you love this video, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, follow her, subscribe to me, <laughs> and if you're ever in the UAE, come to Abu Dhabi at least for a full day of eating straight up Indian. I would say two days to so explore the mosque, you know, have some other food. Yeah. And that's basically it, right? Exactly. And I guess one more bite for good riddance. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Mm -hmm.